Hello, this is Adam Rayner and Mr. John Griggs of Celsius Ice. Um, you guys are, of course, the importers of JL Audio, and that's why we're here at Brian Car Sounds and Security tonight, because, well, you guys are doing a bit of an open evening thing for them. We are, yes, yeah. We're doing an open evening with invitation, and we're educating the way of, the way of JL Audio. And uh, there's been pizza and fizzy pop, and most people have <laughs> listened to the cars, freeloaded <laughs> and gone. This is the first chance we've had to actually do the hello introduction, because I've been listening to cars. Eat us, yes. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> And uh, they've done a beautiful pastry thing. Look at that. That's uh, where are we? So, how many people actually came along tonight to this? Not sure. Quite there was quite a crowd, wasn't there? It's quite a crowd. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So here we are. Brian Car Sounds and Security. All kinds of audio, including very high-end jail audio. Let's go and check out some of the cars and, uh, in typical uh, Blue Peter fashion. Some of them I filmed actually before I did this bit. But uh, Adam Rayner and John Griggs signing out for the time being for Talk Audio TV. Thanks, John. Cheers, Adam. Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV, and tonight, well, I'm at the BCSS, that took some rehearsing, the open night here with uh, JL Audio, and nearly looking slightly right in front of us there, next to what is possibly one of the coolest number plates. Yes, um, and you might start looking back at that and go, yeah, the geezer's got four little tiny eights. Four little tiny eights. These are W7 eights, right? So you can stand up and say before yep. I can knees now, mate. You know, right, first you. do the football scratch. Um, tell us about what's going on in the back here, dude. Come and come and talk to me. These um, these four woofers. These are W7 eight inch. They are W7 eights. Um, they're rare, man. They're rare. rare yeah, you don't see many of them. Yeah. Um, they're powered by um, HD 1201. Uh -huh. um, running a clean sweep, all of the. Um, Manufacture head unit because that's what that does. It's the JL Audio device to enable you to use your OEM head unit from it is, yeah. original equipment from manufacturer. So tell us a bit about Clean Sweep. Take, bring us in here and say about like what this does. Do you actually know how to use all these lamps and stuff? Because there's all things on it. I can hear that. Can you hear that slight clap of hand on trousers? That's the I haven't got the faintest clue, which is why I come to BCSS because those guys that's do. Exactly don't they? it. I just know <laughs> I wanted to keep the factory head unit. Yeah. So from the outside. Anyone looks in, they can't see anything different. But when I take the parcel shelf off, open the boot. Yes. <laughs> the certain friends of mine would go, Ross, when they saw that. <laughs> there is, of course, a the magic word kinetic pooping out through there, and you've got obviously an extra battery on that. Yeah, the 2400 kinetic. Uh -huh. um, Makes the whole system. thing rock. Yeah, it does. It, it just gives that, that a bit more power and just helps it along really so did you operate the alternator or is that just um, no, that's a standard alternator at the moment um, mind you which is what is this car come on it's a two litre uh, yeah. clear rs yes so he said can you hear rx he's got like yes and it goes like the proverbial pull off a stick so i take it as it got lots of whistles and bells i'm saying there's some margin on that alternator anyway to fill that kinetic up when you're not spanking your nuts off yeah yeah because when you want it to go loud it goeth brilliant so uh, the nicest thing was chris bennett out the front of the shop in the intro giving it Wayne's world and saying that you were in fact sorry mate I had to say this excellent thanks ever so much dude thank you okay and finally it's Adam Rayner talk audio TV tradition where I say oh yeah goodbye and then realise I haven't covered something this is uh, Wayne's car and well we're looking just at the mids and uh, well they look a fairly stock install I hope you're not hearing the blah and are coming from the other demo car over there because it's the open evening and those are the tweeters what are the speakers in here Wayne because there's not a terribly uh Fabulously expensive set of loudspeakers in it from jail. What have you got in here? It's uh, they're, they're actually the C5 650s, yeah, uh, in the front, um, right, which are basically well, one of the, 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 the top of end, yeah, yeah. Um, in the rears, I've, I've just got a standard set of C2s. Oh, and you're running those as well. Do you know, I thought it was just a bit, bit hectically loud just for the uh, yeah, four transducers. So there's two sets of components in here, there is, yeah. So C5 650s up mm -hmm. front, and just the C2s in the back, all powered off a uh, HD 604. And all running signal wise from this lot at the front here, which yes. is the factory head unit. Shake what your mummy gave you when mama happened to be uh, Renault. <laughs> Dumps and tones of car alarms going off, and yep, it's an open evening here at Brian Cast Sounds of Security. And uh, well, the main reason for firing this up again is that I have sat in here and um, those four eights, those W7s, absolutely rock, but with such an iron grip that's awesome. And it sounds really crisp in here. Wayne, your car sounds lovely, mate. Thanks ever so much. Thank you very much. Okay, this is Mr. Brian Steer Jr. 
because your dad's also called Brian Steer, and Brian Car Sounds and Security, BCSS is the name of the biz. Now, tonight, of course, we've got the uh, Celsius Ice guys here for your JL Audio Open Evening. So, how many cars have you got here from JL tonight, dude? We've got three cars here from JL Audio at the moment, from Celsius. Yeah. We've got uh, Chris Bennett's Audi A6. Yes, yes. Then we've got uh, Mike's... Uh, Mike's... Oh, I'll spin it out. So, A3 Audi, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Car, four wheels. Yes. And then we've got uh, Rob Murphy's Lego Golf. Gotcha, gotcha, quite gotcha. I quite like that one. That's quite an interesting one, that one. Yes, yeah, so I've taken some little bits on video mm. of that. We'll, we'll zip it all and, together. Yep, yeah, and then we've got a couple of our own cars here at the moment. We've got um, um, Clio Sports, blue one inside there. Yes. That's running four W7s, eight inch subs in the boot. That's. Uh, that's in here. Cool. Um, um, hey, let's go and uh, do some video with the guy. The guy's uh, called Wayne, isn't he? That's correct, yes. yes. And there's another dude, actually. Let's go and get somebody with uh, that. That would be Adam as well. Congratulating him on having the single coolest name ever given to a human male. <laughs> it like that. <laughs> nice one, Brian. Thank you, Adam. Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV. I'm at Brian Car Sounds and Security here for the JL Audio Open Evening. And uh, just standing up out of shot there is Jack, but sat in the car as a geezer with the single coolest name ever given to a human male. <laughs> Hello, Adam. My name's Adam. Uh, uh, um, tell us about your car, because I've sat in this and you blew me away. This sounds really, really uh, it's powerful. It's clean. It's not just about blinding bass or, or poncy. It's, it does a lot of stuff. What drove you to do this? Was this the guys here that made you think, Ooh, I'll have this? Or Well, I, I started off. It's, it's something I've always wanted since I was little. Yeah. And uh, uh, I've never had a car without a, without a sub in it. So yes. I put my sub in it before I even got my driving license. No, really? So, um, you have my respect. What age were you reading what magazine then? Um, well, I don't really... It's literally... They, Brian's the nut lot introduced me to it all. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but I, I mean, when you was a there. kid, I'm just fishing for compliments, because if you looked at any magazine back then when you was like 10 or 14 or whatever, it was probably me that wrote it, mate. Really? Yeah, I was in Car Electronics Editor Max Power for four years. Anything you read in Max Power would have been me. Right. Likewise, Fast Car for seven years. Yeah, so, well, me and my dad had a, had a bit of that <laughs> laying around the house. Cool. And um, it's always just been been an interest of mine since I was little. So excellent, and it's come to uh, fruition in this uh, lovely motor. What is this car? This is a. Uh, it's only a little Fiesta. It's only a little Fiesta, but it's a little Fiesta that sounds beyond slightly gorgeous. What are these two pairs of components in the front there, Adam? What are they? Uh, JL 15s. They're um, six W nines. Uh -huh. Obviously, my two tweeters. Um, and it's, it's what's in the back that's really sexy. Let's go and have a quick look at that. Go and leap out of there, you live and fit geezer. Oh, God, I couldn't. You say only a little Fiesta. Is this an ST? No. It's, it's, it's got the a, seats in it, right? It will be a replica soon. OK. So you're a little bit like that um, ad with a robot in. No, no, yes, no, so no it sharp. Will, it, will t it will look <laughs> nice <and> soon. <laughs> cool. No, it does look smart anyway. I'm just teasing because I would love one of them as bows, as uh, Clarkson called it. So three amplifiers, two yes. subwoofers, um, only uh, front doors have you got speakers in the back as well? I have got upgraded jails in the back, obviously it's all jail, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to do a door building in the back later on, just got to find the money. Gotcha, in the meanwhile, it sounds bloody fabulous. And that box is too real, good and grunty deep isn't it, because it drops. So. Thanks so much Mark, I hope you uh, will enjoy the darn thing and um, here's to uh, something base for loving race. <laughs> I met Josie B once, I'm not here. <laughs> Cheers, dude. No We're in the garage here, Brian Constance Security, and um, well, check it out, it's like a schoolboy's delight. That's Mr. Chris Bennett, and he's taking boxes in and out of the back of his ear motor. He's trying out different enclosures in the back of his ear car. Because that's kind of the point, people come along basically mess around, try things, try before you buy. That's the whole point. They give up the time to come out to uh, the better dealers and run these things. If it just worked out, I'm filming you, Chris, huh? <laughs> How many base boxes have you fiddled like a elbow of a vinyl just in and out of your car tonight? Uh, I don't know. They've probably gone in and out about 20 times tonight already. Bunch, so different people saying, can I hear this one? And then can I hear that one? And then uh, let's try it with that. Yeah, we've got a double eight, which has shocked people. Ooh. Two eights. That's what I'd like to have a go on. Actually, well, that's the one you'd like to play in there, and I'd say, oh, that's a 12, and you'll go, ah, oh, fat boy, okay. get it wrong. That's single 10 TW1, yes. new driver, so when we did the interview with Steve Teresi, yes. that's it, um, in a ready-made enclosure built by Brian Carl Sounds. Got Unbelievable you. how good that sounds. Oh, really? A 110 in a big car. It rocks. Mad. Oh, cool. yeah. Um, TW3s, 
we've got uh, the more affordable 12W0 slot port, and then the Monster, the Beast, the 10W6 high output box. Well, that is drowned out by bass, which is entirely appropriate. It's JL bass. This is Mr. John Griggs of uh, South and South, JL Audio's uh, one of the crucial cogs. Now, I've just said, oh, look, pick this thing up. Let's look at this, because this, um, this product's been around for a good long time, the Harley there. And um, that is a W7, but it's an 8 inch one. That's right, yeah. It reminds me of kicker shoes in size 4 or 5 for little girls that are almost as wide <laughs> as they're long because that little spudney is actually deeper than it is. Give us a little rotate. Shall I show the camera here, there, boy? Look at this thing. It's the most monstrous, <laughs> monstrous magnet on an 8 inch. That magnet is, I mean, if you saw that, you'd go, oh yeah, it's a 12. Could even be a 15. Yeah, but what's on the front of it is, first of all, I don't know, just let's have a look at these turners. Sorry, I do like to have a little wander in there. They're rather posh. I've got my thumb stuck up it. Ow, ow, it's heavy. <laughs> so have a look at the front there, boy. Um, this doesn't have visible fixing holes. The actual whole suspension lifts out. That's correct, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and just like the W7 in all the way up to like the 13 inch size. So there's eight. 10 and then 13 inches? 13 and a half. 13 and a half. That half inch always makes a difference. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is, the, uh, the W8, there's four of these in that uh, little clear out the back that I've been out and filmed. It's so impressive, it's an 8 inch speaker that's absolutely musical weapons grade. What a beautiful, yes. beautiful piece of ordnance. I'm sorry I'm biased as hell, but W7, arguably the finest subwoofer ever made in the history of mankind, and the 8 inch, just dinky cute! Over 10 years old, man. Huh? Wow.